starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. call a bald eagle. Anyway, I don't need it. I already got my identifications. And that last one makes my five. And it was not a bald eagle. Then what was it? You'll find out when I tell Mr. Benz. It's gonna be a big surprise. Oh, sure. Come on, Lassie. <laughs> Timmy around? <laughs> You're talking about the newest member of the Audubon Junior Bird Club, don't forget. He's probably got every bird in the woods identified by now. <laughs> well, I'll say one thing for our boy. When he sets his heart on something, he doesn't stop till he gets it. And he's gonna get that scroll. Mom, Dad, a big drink. Judging from that victory grin on his face, he's already got it. Oh, son, whoa, take it easy. Okay, let's have the big news. It was all white. Stretch your hands out, Uncle Petrie. As far as you can. Like that? That's so far I can spread its wings. It wasn't an eagle by any chance. No, I know an eagle when I see one. An eagle, dear. Same thing. Oh, no, it's not. Well, I mean I know an eagle when I see one, Mom. Well, what kind of a bird was it, Timmy? I don't know. It isn't on this bird chart Mr. Binns gave us. He's our leader. Now, let me see it, Timmy. Now, this is for common birds only. Oh, maybe what Timmy saw wasn't a common bird. I bet I can find it on the bird chart at school. I'm sure you will. Go on, now, you run on in and get cleaned up. A bird Timmy did see. Could be he rediscovered the dodo bird. <laughs> now that would be an achievement. Ralph, have you completed your identifications? Yes, sir. Would you call them out, please? Ruff Grouse, Downy Woodpecker, Bob White, Nighthawk, and a red-winged blackbird. Where did you sight these birds, Ralph? In the meadows, near the lake, in the trees. 
And on my father's head. <laughs> <laughs> you were referring to the blackbird, weren't you, uh, Ralph? Yes, sir. Well, it can happen, you know. Blackbirds can dive down on a person's unprotected head and pull out hairs to help build their nest. <laughs> they even dive-bombed on me. <laughs> <laughs> you did a nice job, Ralph. Mm -hmm. And you'll get your scroll at our next meeting. Mm -hmm. I identified one extra bird, Mr. Binns. What was it, Ralph? A bald eagle. Bald eagle? Hmm. They're quite rare, you know. But you have your quota, so we won't need this. Now, has anyone else completed their identifications? I have, Mr. Benz. Will you call them out, please? Spotted sandpiper, rough grouse, killdeer, goldfinch. But that's only four, Timmy. I have one more, Mr. Benz. But I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, now, now, let's be good sports and let Timmy have his say. Couldn't you find it in the guidebook I gave you, Timmy? No, sir. It wasn't in the book. Mm. Then maybe you better step up here. Perhaps you can point it out on the chart. Yes, sir. Mr. Benz, that's the one last thing I saw down by the lake. That's the American egret. Are you certain this is the bird you saw with Lassie? Yes, sir. Honest. Unfortunately, Timmy, there hasn't been an egret seen in these parts for over 20 years. <laughs> now, now, you're not being very fair to Timmy. Timmy, suppose we put a question mark next to the egret. And then perhaps tomorrow you and Lassie can take me to the spot where you saw the bird. Yes, sir. I guess that'll be all for today, boys and girls. Bye, Mr. Bye, Mr. Bye. 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 Ruth. Ruth, Mr. Benz is here. He'd like to talk to us. Oh, hello, Mr. Benz. How nice to see you. You're looking lovely as usual, Mrs. Martin. Oh, well, thank you. You know, we think you're doing such a wonderful job with the Audubon Junior Club. And Timmy can hardly wait to win a scroll. <laughs> Won't you sit down for a while? I have some fresh coffee. Oh, thank you. Because, by the way, where is Timmy? Oh, he, he somewhere's about. I, I saw him come running in. Well, Paul, you'd better find him. He'd be interested to know Mr. Binns is here. Oh, don't disturb him. It's uh, really you two that I came to see. Uh, would you say that Timmy, like most children, is given to uh, moments of fancy? Like most children. Why do you ask? Well, it's really nothing to be concerned about, Miss Martin. He's a fine boy. It's just at an, our meeting this afternoon, Timmy identified a rare bird that he and Lassie had sighted near the lake. Really? Yes. And on our bird chart, it is listed as uh, the American egret. An egret? Exactly. Now, of course, you folks must know that the American egret is virtually extinct, particularly in these parts. Yes, I know. However, the ornithologists have proof that from time to time, pairs of this rare species have wandered as far north as Hudson Bay and Nova Scotia, from as far south as Florida and South America. Oh, my goodness. Now, since your boy did make positive identification from the bird chart without hesitation, there is that long, long chance that he might be correct. I hope he is. So that's why I'm asking you to allow Timmy to accompany me to the lake tomorrow for another look. Oh, well, of course. Why, certainly, Mr. Benz. Good. I'll be by after him first thing in the morning. This is where Lassie and I first saw the birds. Were there two of them, Timmy? Yes, sir. Didn't we, Lassie?
I'm sorry, Timmy, but it's time we started for home. Come on. If someone thinks he's right, and no one believes him, does that make him wrong? Well, not necessarily, dear. Nobody believed Columbus when he said the world was round, but he was sure right about that. Nobody believed Robert Fulton when he said he could make a boat travel on steam. Lassie, I'll be Robert Fulton, and you're Columbus. We're gonna make them believe us, aren't we, girl? Hunting nearby. Yeah. That sounds like Lassie. And Timmy's near there, too. Are you all right, sir? Yeah. What goes on? Is this your dog? That belongs to my son. What about it? Well, she sure spoiled my chances to get a rare specimen for my den. Those are the same birds I saw yesterday, Dad. I'm a stranger in these parts, but those birds have the most beautiful white feathers I've ever seen. You're lucky Lassie spoiled your shot. Yeah, killing one of those birds could have gotten you a stiff fine, maybe even a jail sentence. Well, I... I certainly have no desire to break the law. Sure would like to have her for a bird dog. Too bad those egrets were scared away, Timmy. But one thing's for sure, we can tell Mr. Binns that somebody else saw them. The birds may return, Paul. As long as they're here, why not help Timmy look for them? Good deal. Are you really gonna help us, Dad? Sure thing, partner. You and Lassie lead the way. Let's go, Columbus. Looking black crows. Wonder what they're after. Timmy's latched on to something. What is it, Timmy? It's a nest with great big eggs. Two of them are already broken. These are unusual eggs. Sometimes the crows will get to them. They'll rob a nest when they're hungry. The birds must have left them when they got frightened away. And they may never return. Dad, can we take the nest back and show it to Mr. Binns? Well, if we leave it here, this, this good one's bound to be destroyed, too. And no doubt about it. We'll call Mr. Binns as soon as we get home. Mighty interesting to find out what kind of eggs these really are. You know, I got an idea. We keep it warm, there's a possibility the good egg will hatch. And then I can get my scroll. Huh. Here you are, son. Easy.
Jimmy didn't know, being a new member of the junior group, that there's a, a law against disturbing a nest or taking a bird's egg from it uh, under any circumstances, unless there's a group leader along. Well, we didn't know about that either. And there wasn't any malicious intent. I just wanted to save the egg before it got eaten up, like the other two did. Of course you did, Timmy. Now for the egg. This very well may be an egret egg. Oh, boy! Did you hear that, Lassie? Yeah, but on the other hand, it also looks like the egg of the large heron, and every effort must be made to have this egg hatch. Oh, dear. Well, the, the incubator's just bulging with chicks. Look at Lassie! <laughs> Isn't that old egg ever gonna hatch? Well, Henrietta hasn't given up hope. I don't think we should. I should say not. Oh, Henrietta won't quit. She's a pretty good mother. For the best hatcher, I just know she's gonna hatch that egg. Mr. Ben said about never taking an egg or a nest away. <coughs> I've got a really important job for you. Suppose you go down to the lake and watch for the birds. Because when the egg hatches, they might want their baby bird. See? <coughs> Good luck, girl! Bye. 
Howdy. Hi, Mr. Benz. Where's Nancy? Isn't she back yet? Oh, no, didn't she go to school with you? Sure. And then I told her she could go to the lake to watch for the birds. Has the egg hatched yet? I'm afraid not, Timmy. I doubt if it ever will, son. Gosh. Now the mystery of the egret will never be solved. <laughs> Lassie now. May I see that, Timmy? This is an American egret plume. Yippee! <laughs> For the love of little apples. You know, my grandmother used to wear egret plumes on her large picture hats. I remember reading somewhere that egret plumes are worth more than their weight in gold. See, Lassie, on the count of you, we've got the best identification of them all. <laughs> well, Timmy, now you can get your scroll. Uh, Timmy, after all uh, the trouble you've gone through, uh, uh, I, how I wish I could report that you did see a pair of egrets. I did, Mr. Bins. And Lassie proved it. Well, why can't you make a report, Mr. Binns? You've identified this as an egret plume. Well, for a report with such tremendous importance, Mrs. Martin, I would have to have more conclusive evidence and proof, uh, such as an adult who had also sighted the egrets. Well, we ran across a hunter who'd drawn a bead on the birds. Good thing Lassie spoiled his shot, or there'd be one less egret. Uh, perhaps we can locate the hunter? He was a total stranger. Probably hightailed it out of town by now. You know, more than 50 years ago, the National Audubon Society began its history with a dramatic campaign to save the egret from extinction. Lassie, because of her gallant action against the hunter, has contributed mightily to this campaign. And I want to commend all of you for the conduct of this fine animal. My next step, Timmy, is to forward the unhatched egg and the plume to the proper authorities for an official ruling. Can you good people understand what this could mean to me? To be able to let the world know that a boy in my group, eight years old, observed a rare species that hasn't been seen in our state for over 20 years? It could make me a very proud and happy man. I'm really sorry about that scroll, Timmy. That's all right, Mr. Benz. Lassie and I'll go back in the woods and find another bird. Won't we, Lassie? <coughs> and when the egrets come back... Egrets, Timmy. When the egrets come back next spring, I'll identify them again. Come on, Lassie. And who am I to say he won't? You have every reason to be proud of Timmy. He's quite a boy. Now, how about you, Timmy? Can you complete your identifications? Yes, sir. It's a loon. I saw it in the lake with a... where we were before. Come up here, Timmy. Identification of the loon completes your list. I am therefore awarding you the Audubon Junior Club scroll. Thanks a lot. <coughs> I couldn't have run the scroll without Lassie. <coughs> 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 